Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's word to you today. Now today is Friday, praise God. I'm so excited. Listen, everything I've been sharing with you so far, go glean from, just go from the beginning of this series and begin to listen and listen and listen and listen. I'm telling you, there is no way you know, you see, I've told him this before. Why I like Fridays is because you you can decide. You know what? Tomorrow is Saturday, so I'm going to take, I'm going to listen to these things. Now, when you listen to them together, you get your whole spirit and mind soaked up in it. There is no way. It's like when the Bible said, when the clouds be full of rain. They empty themselves on the earth. Praise God. Can we call for that daily bread now? Say this with me. Say, Father, I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. And Lord, we just honor you today for your word. Holy Spirit, we depend on you so much to give us what the mind of God is for today. Thank you. And I declare every body is lifted. Yokes are being destroyed right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You know the Bible says, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. How do you know who the sons of God are? The ones who are led by the Spirit of God. And when the Spirit of God is leading you, you will know someone is leading you. Praise God. You will know. You will know. Now, sometimes you will hear a voice. Other times, a way will be open to you. And you will just know. You see, you, you, you. Abu <laughs> Shali. You, you, you walk into a place. I remember a dear sister many years ago. You know, we were traveling together and we're going for a program. So with a whole group of people. And, and somewhere in that journey, the, the spirit of intercession just came upon me. And I began to pray and pray. You know, you just started like, Kusa, Braga, Dose, Bro, Kusha. And, and suddenly, you begin to pray and not minding who's there. You just begin. Now, we, we hired a whole bus, so we were just the ones in that bus. And everybody joined me, and we just, just started praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And, praying. and when I was done praying, you know how you, you just feel a release in your heart. So I was asking the Lord, Lord, what was I praying about? I do that all the time. The moment I sense the move of the Spirit on my life, I want to understand what happened. I'm not the kind that will just say, hmm, I believe something. No, I want the Lord, what happened? What just happened here now? And the Lord spoke to me and said, you, you were actually praying for someone's parent. I said, okay. So Lord, thank you for the victory. Because that's all he said. He didn't say anything further. Now, that very night of this journey now, when this, the day this thing happened, that very night was the day we had one plane crash in the, in the night, many years ago. No, I, I, don't, I won't mention the airline now. But, but that was the day we had that, 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 that plane crash. Now, there was this sister that was with us. Her mom was going to board that flight. And she was on the queue to get the ticket. Now then, we're not doing online ticket. You go to the airport, get someone to buy you a ticket or stay on the queue to get a ticket. And while she was on the queue, Normally, she would buy a business class ticket. But then they, they now said that the business class was full. So like, well, let me just, just uh, let me get economy. And she was on the queue. Then someone just came from nowhere. Someone she doesn't know. He just came straight to her. 
It wasn't an announcement. He just came straight to her and whispered to her. I said, Ma, there is this airline that is about to leave and there's business class on it. Do you want it? And she looked like, okay. Are they leaving now? So yeah, they're leaving right now. Come, you'll get, I'll get business class for you. And, and she looked at like, ah, who is this guy? As in, why is why me? And I was like, so that's how she stepped out of that line and got that ticket. Now, when the plane crashed, she had already arrived at Abuja, went home, started sleeping. And then the news of the plane crash came. Now, everybody knew that she was, that, that's her normal, you know, that's the airline she normally bought. So everyone felt she was going on that airline. When the plane crashed, everywhere went berserk. They started calling and calling her. Funny enough, her phone was switched off because she, she just went home and slept off. And everybody was scared until they put a call to the driver. And the driver said, ah, Madame is at home. She's at home. How? And she came with another airline. Whoa. <laughs> now she woke up from that sleep later, late, very late in the now, early hours of the morning, to hear of the news. Then she realized God sent an angel to take her out of that queue. Now you see, that is how you, you know, you, you are doing something you normally do. Now it's good to have a regimented kind of lifestyle, you know, you know, this is it's good, but then you see, when you have that, always give room for the Spirit of God. And you will always know. Because when you're doing something you are used to doing, then suddenly a com and usually when that happens, it's, it's usually a compelling voice or a strong persuasion. Someone just comes to you and says, Sir, you can do this thing another way. Sir, you can I, I think you should get it. And then you 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 ask yourself, why, why, why is he so concerned about me? Now, when such things happen, give them attention. I'm not saying run for it. Just, just listen to your spirit. That's, that's the moment to say, Lord, you think I should go with this? And, and most times, instantly, you just feel a push in your heart. Go. That's how God delivers his own from trouble. And that's also how God can lead you into things that he has provided and prepared for you that nobody knows about. That's how it works. So I'm saying either you get a vision or God will speak to you in your heart or clearly, however, or you will just see some movement. That, that, like in that case, God just opened a way for her. And usually when you disobey such things, it, you will know, you will know that you're walking in disobedience. There is no child of God that have gotten into a disastrous situation that didn't sincerely know before then that they were not supposed to be going in that direction. See, God is faithful. So this is how God works. He makes provision for you. Why? Because there are angels responsible for all these things. And when the time comes, the angel will be responsible for the movement where these things are concerned. So all these, your needs, all these things that you need to take care of, every one of them, make sure. That, that, that's what you do with diaries. That's what you do with writing. You write these things down. Now, when you write, I, I'll tell you the mystery of writing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you write, see, <laughs> You know, sometimes the Spirit of God is talking to you. You just nod your head. Okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Write it down. Why do you write it down? Number one, so you don't forget. Number two, so you can quote it. Do you know? Do you know, broke us You know, sometimes like, you know, you're praying. And your father, your word says this. 
your word says this. Uh, guess what you're saying? Father, your word said in Matthew chapter 1 and verse 16 that this. Your word said in Psalm chapter 42 and verse 11 that this. Your word says, oh Lord, you said, you said in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 verse, you know, and then you begin to quote like that. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Ah, can you receive this now? Do you know you can quote your diary when you're praying? Now, I'm telling you the truth. That is the surest word to you. Praise God. Yeah. Father, you remember you said to me in January 1, 2014, by 9 a.m., you said this to me. <laughs> I'm telling you, that word is the surest word. Why? Because just, just, this is what he said to you. You know he said it to you. No one is going to come and doubt that. And when you get to that point, when you begin to quote what God has said to you, Satan takes off. Why? Because he's dealing with someone who's on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the Lord. Satan fears people like that. You know why? Because he knows he's fighting a lost battle. Why is he fighting a lost battle? You see this one? God will just give him a secret and he will destroy all of us. God will just tell him what to do. So, so just leave him. As long as you're still depending on people for prayer, the devil knows how to get you. But when you get to that point where you are receiving words directly from heaven. And, and you see, anytime you are dealing with any situation spiritually, quote that. Now, what do I mean quote that? Quote the fact that you hear from heaven. Now, the moment, see, not every demon know you. I, I need you to understand. The same way not every angel know you. That's why I always encourage people speaking tongues. Why? It's our language. You enter into a new environment. Maybe the angels, they don't know it. The moment you begin to speak in tongues, they turn their heads because our, our language person is here. Just like you do it in the natural. <laughs> That's what the angels do. Uh, our language person is here. Oh, oh, a child of God is here. And they, they know, okay, all right. They stand at attention. So everything about your life, bring them before the Lord one after the other. And, and, and you look at this, Lord, I didn't know this before. But now that I know, Lord, I bring all these bills before you. Father, you supply all my needs. So Lord, I acknowledge you in my electricity bill payment. I acknowledge you. Holy Spirit, talk to me about it. Talk to me about it. The day, because he's going to do it. You made a request, right? The day he opens his mouth to talk to you about it. Now that's the secret some of us use with the Lord. You want to do something? Talk to the Lord about it first. Now, something as simple as, okay, you want to take your family on vacation. Why don't you talk to the Lord about it? And say, how? Ah, where's the money? Hey, hey, that's what I'm telling you. Talk to the Lord about it. Father, I'm thinking of taking my family on a vacation. I, I, we're planning to go to Susan so place. What, what, what's, what do you think about it? Just show it before the Lord. I'm telling you, the day the Lord is going to open his mouth to say something about that thing, and it's in the affirmative, like, go, you know. He might not tell you, go, or don't go. He might just tell you, when, when you go on that vacation, aha, <laughs> aha, praise God. The moment he puts his mouth to it, guess what? This is a secret I'm telling you. He will put his money to it. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Why? Because the moment God says, go, it's like saying, approved. And all those involved in the administration of that thing, all the angels know 
The Father has put his approval to this matter. Funds must be released to it. Praise God. And, and that's how you, you just be doing your thing and suddenly something happens, a miracle just happens or, or an opening just comes in and there's enough money to carry on with your vacation or whatever you want to do. Praise God. <laughs> they came back. This is how it works. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we bless you, Father. You are the one who meets every need in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing forth these truths and manifesting the reality of it in our lives. Holy Spirit, I pray for everyone watching and listening. That the reality of these things will be seen in their life. And I pray that they will not just be hearers only. But they will begin to be doers. And as they do, you confirm these words with signs following in their lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I pray for this weekend. I declare you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll see you on Monday. God bless you. Bye.